This is a terrible mistake. Hi, bitches. My name is Freeze Dried Strawberries. I don't know if anyone actually commented that. I just really want to be called that today. I've dyed my hair a couple times on this channel. I've cut my hair one time on this channel, but I've yet to do both in one sitting. And I would like to feel like Jenna Marbles for once in my life. So I'm gonna do what she does. So we're gonna cut and color my hair. I went to Sally Beauty because Jenna Marbles goes to Sally Beauty and she always turns out beautiful and I would like to feel beautiful. All this stuff costs only $20, which like, that's a lot less than regular dye at the salon, not including tip. I have a mixing bowl, a brush, dark purple dye. And I mentioned this is the day before graduation, so if this doesn't turn out well, someone isn't graduating. I also have never used developer before. By the way, I'm using Ion. They are a vegan brand, which I really appreciate. Strand test. Yeah, we don't have time for that. Pre-lighten to a pale yellow. This actually is both purple and pale yellow because my hair has... It's been going through some things. It's been dyed four times. Do you hear that? It feels like shit, basically. Mix two ounces of this with two ounces of this. But I don't know how much is one ounce. We're just gonna get started. <gasps> that went in the trash can. Okay, so the most important thing I read was that this is a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm just gonna make enough for my hair because the person said I definitely don't need the whole bottle for this amount. I do have gloves back here somewhere. Wait, fuck. I don't think I have gloves. That's an issue. I'll be back. Let me get some gloves. All right, I'm back with a pair of translucent gloves and a haircut kit. If this dye goes through these gloves or I rip the glove, I'm gonna go to graduation with some stained hands, I'll just say that much. Let me take off my ring, first of all, because that already seems like it can cut it. I can definitely do this, oh my god. This is so easy, yeah, I, I got this. First, let's put on the gloves. You ready? Dr. Chen, we'll see you now. Oh god, you guys better pray. This says intense shine, permanent, by the way, because I would like this to stay. And it's sealed, so you take the end of this and you go to open it up. Oh, it's silver? So let me just show you what this looks like. You see that? That's shiny yellow. Okay, so I'm just gonna use like this much for now. I assume that's gonna turn purple once we're done doing all of this. Okay, then we're gonna use the same amount. Oh God, why did I not measure this? All right, <sighs> too late. We're gonna mix. So I'm mixing. It's still white, just saying. Oh, oh God, the smell. Yeah, I'm gonna have to open this door. Mix Ion Sensitive Scalp Bright White Cream Developer. This is 20 volume. <gasps> Wait, I was supposed to use 10. That doesn't matter, right? Wait, I need those instructions. Hold on. Fish them out of the trash can. This is purple. It says purple right here, even though... Mm, at what point do I put this on my head? I'm just gonna keep mixing. Oh, it's turning like silver now. I also just realized I did not put enough in here, so let me go ahead and put some more. And let me measure this time by using my eyes. I'd rather have extra than not enough. We gotta do this in one go. Okay, I definitely see a change in color. This is good. I'm less freaked out now. <coughs> By the way, I'm gonna cut my hair after I'm done dyeing it to like be efficient, you know, cause I'm that bitch. I know how to prioritize my time. I'm not a procrastinator. I eat three healthy meals a day and exercise for at least 30 minutes. Oh, it's a flash flood warning. Oh my God, flash flood right before graduation. I'm honestly scared to put this on my head. Let me like look this up. 3.5 stars. Nice. It's like a very light purple. But I feel like if I keep mixing, it'll just get darker and darker, which is what I would like to do before I mix this into my head. If the hair is orange or dark yellow, this will contribute to the final color. Fuck. Okay, if this doesn't turn any other color in the next five minutes, I'm just gonna put it on my head. You know what? We're gonna lift this off. I'm gonna give it one more chance to get it shit right and turn dark purple. If not, hair cuttery is gonna have a nice appointment tomorrow at 4 p.m. I'm also impatient, so we're just gonna do this now. So I'm going to... All right. Oh, I did not put Vaseline in my hair. Mmm, that is a mistake on me. All right, so when are we going to turn 
dark purple. By the way, every other time I've dyed my hair, I just don't even use a brush. I just go in with the hands and it works fine. But for some reason, I want it to look professional in a video for once. So I'm not gonna put it straight to my root because my roots are already growing out. Plus I know developer also means it's gonna lift a little. Bleach my hair five times, why don't you? I know you should part your hair, but I don't know how to do that. Ever since I got the man bun, I've forgotten every rule to hair care. This is turning more purple as I go though, which is nice. But it doesn't look dark purple in any way, shape, or form. Let me just clarify. Every inch of this must be covered. If Brad Mono ever watches this, just know that I'm sorry. 17 year olds are very, very irresponsible and my hair is I should have brushed my hair first. Yeah, we're irresponsible. We don't really care. We don't choose to think. We're impulsive. And I will own up to my mistakes because there will be a lot in this video. All right, so quick story time about how my hair got to this place. I had red hair for a really long time and then it faded out to like the salmon and then it faded out to like a pinkish orange. And people really liked it, except I got bored. I cannot have regular hair for more than a month straight before getting bored. And I decided to try to go silver. The people said, Honey, you're not going silver with a black hair. No, 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 you will never get to that. They basically said, I will never achieve it unless I bleach my hair and fry it. So I decided, let's go purple. Let's go NYU purple, because that's where I'm going. But no, it's also because I didn't want to do blue, because my parents hate the color blue for some reason. I didn't want to do red again. I'm not doing natural highlights. <laughs> That's funny. And I don't like the color green and yellow will not look good on my hair. Stop trying to convince me, guys. I know you're fucking with me. Didn't want orange because that does not work well with my skin tone. So there was only one other option. But for some reason, when I went to the hair salon, they were like, we're going to keep some of those red highlights that you had. And I don't know why, but I was like, okay. So they partially highlighted me once again. And then I was left with like really blonde streaks and my original red highlighted streaks, which were faded out by the way to a uh, salmon pink. And hopefully Frederick is editing this so that you can see the pictures. So when I got it dyed purple, it kept some of the red, which looked good for a little bit, but then the red kept fading out and then I got orange. So my thought process is that if I get permanent hair dye, cause I don't think the hair color at that hair salon was permanent. I think it was semi and I want full lift. I want all these highlights to be the same color for once. That got in my eye, holy shit. Also, it's turning dark purple and I kind of realized that it would have because I think when I dyed my hair red, the same thing happened. Oh, what time is it? Yeah, there's definitely some pieces missing. When did I get this much hair? And how did I do it last time? It was so much easier. Lift, baby. Oh, I see it changing color for once. Oh my God, it's working. Hopefully, I don't know actually. Ugh, so much hair. Oh God. Oh, please don't tell me you stay in my hands. I can't see what I'm doing right now. I think I almost got every strand. Ow. This is what I get for having thick hair. Ooh, wow. Okay, so from this angle, it looks completely dyed. But when you do this, yeah, that changes it. Definitely missing a couple strands here. You know what technique I'm gonna call this? Grab and pull. So you just grab your hair and pull away. And eventually it should get through every strand, right? Also, I'm surprised my hair isn't falling off. Five times bleach doesn't really sound satisfying to anyone's hair, but I think I only used them in small increments. It was like, started off with brown highlights, so like 20 developer, then 40 developer, then 10, and then 20 again. So if my hair does not fade to silver, someone's gonna pay. Cause I want silver hair. Oh, that's my scalp. Oh, it's still a strand, right? I see it, I see it, I see it. Get over here. And that's my scalp. Oh my God. Frederick, <laughs> calm down. Every crevice, every corner must be covered. Every street on the boulevard. I think it is lifting every single piece of hair that I had. Oh, it's on my head, bitch. Uh-uh. Fuck. Well, I have makeup, so I can cover that up. Okay. So I'm gonna comb through all of this just to see what is missing. Ooh, that kind of hurt. Ow, fuck. And I'm also hoping that the purple in this, oh, it fell, shit. That it will stain the white sink. I need to get rid of that. Shoot, I need to open my door with my foot to get to the towel. All right, this towel was white. It will now be purple. That is stained a lot. I think the worst part that's gonna come out of this is my pink hand. All right, let's just keep going through my hair. I mean, it looks covered, but that does not necessarily mean it is. Jenna Marbles proved that right. But she's able to do it and like fuck around. So why can't I do that? And if I do do it correctly, does that mean I'm 
secretly her child. I'm so sorry. If she ever sees this, I'm so sorry. So I have some extra purple. I'm just gonna shove it all on here just in case. In fact, no, I'm gonna pick it up in my hand and then I'll put it all around my hair. By the way, the reason why I only use a man bun now and not my regular bangs is because if I show you my bangs, you get to see all of the hair that isn't dyed anymore. So that's why I don't do it. And now that I have purple hair, or hopefully will have, knock on wood, I should be able to use my bangs again. I think I covered every piece as much as I could. I'm gonna do a little twirl, and that should be it. Now I'm gonna wash this all off. Actually, I'm not gonna reuse these gloves, so I'm gonna just take them off now. Hopefully reveal a clean hand and another clean hand. I did it. I can graduate in peace. Actually, maybe I can't because my hair could fall off still. Knock on wood. Oh, it's, that's already staining. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, that does not look good. That looks like an acne scar. I can cover that up. Don't worry. Now that's done. Um, what time is it? I have 20 minutes. I don't want to cut my hair. I want to grow this out a little more. I just need to cut all of this because it's turning into a mullet. And last time mullets were in season was never. Let me figure out how I'm going to cut it in this room. There's a rug below me. I have a white sink which means black hair will be everywhere. I have my Chinese scarf. I'm gonna lay that flat on the ground. Oh, I need to take off my shirt. Actually, this is a PG-13 channel. I'm not taking off my shirt. No, I, I should take off the shirt. Hold on, I'll be back. Oh my God, how do you do this? Ugh. Ah, he's naked! All right, it's okay. I have my samurai robe again. Ooh, look at that waist. See that waist? Fuck, my hair. Ugh. By the way, I don't know if I said this or not, but put Vaseline around the sides of your hair so you don't get stains. So, for those of you who don't know why I cut my own hair, this happened one time, and I don't trust my mom anymore. <laughs> my toner. What was I saying? Oh yeah, no, ever since this happened, I don't trust my mom to cut my hair anymore, so I learned how to do it myself, and it's honestly not that hard. For girls, don't do what I'm doing. I'm a size two in women's pants and this actually. But all I have to do is just cut off the sides because I want to grow my hair. So I'm gonna take a comb to make sure I get a nice line. And other than that, we can just go in. Here we go, beach. <sighs> Fuck. What? Oh. Please? You wanna be on or off? My god. Here we go. Oh my god, that did not land where I wanted it to. Uh, Fold down your ear so you don't chop it off. The fact that I'm doing this so casually now says a lot about how many times I've done this at home. By the way, I do have my mom help me- oh. Don't multitask. I did have my mom help me with the back just because I wanted to look good and not look shredded like how I normally do. But it just cuts down a lot of time for her, so that's why I do this. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. This robe is not for summertime. All right, time to go behind. What are you doing here? I never know when to stop. Like, if I'm going up, I have to just look at the mirror and pray that I don't cut my actual hair off. I'm gonna get so many stains on my head, it's not even funny. Alright, switch hands. Stop! Stay. Whew. Oh! That was like almost my actual hair. And by actual hair, I mean the long hair I have on top. But I think I got most of it. I'm going to wait five more minutes because it's almost time to wash it out. And then I need to clean all this shit up because it's a mess. Not my toner! And I'm sweating. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like after I've washed it. Hopefully it's still intact. It's also stained my hand now because I, I, I was stupid. Maybe I can wash it out with soap. Hold on, give me a second. Nope. Definitely not. All right, Frederick goes to graduation with purple nails. And a f stained face, holy crap. Ugh. Did I just throw hair behind me? Let's just take a look at the mess I've created. All of this, that whole tub, I don't want you to look inside. Well, um, it's been a while. I also realized the more I put my bangs down, the younger I look. Like I'm 10 years old and then maybe I pass for 15. But I wanted to show you guys 
what my bangs look like because I told you in the video it's been a while since I've done this. I also did not want to show you guys what my hair looked like right after it hair dried. One, because I forgot to do that because I'm a lazy YouTuber who is not professional in any way. But two, I thought it'd be a good idea to see if this is actually permanent hair dye and not some, you know, $10 fluke. I wanted to show you guys that like, maybe it is legit. So I think this is after eight washes. I always wash my hair after three days max. I can't just not wash it. Dry shampoo every day does not clean it at all. But I think it's been sticking pretty well. I mean, the color is not as accurate on this camera because it's not in real life. I will say though that this used to be much more vibrant and kind of a blurple. The best way I can describe it is honestly this purple shade, like that deep. It looked really nice, but every time I showered, I swear to God, it looked like I killed an alien. And as it faded, um, it's starting to look more silver actually. I don't see any remnants of my original orange highlights. I don't see it turning yellow. I have not used purple shampoo yet because there's no reason to. I just use like regular shampoo that is safe. For color so if you want to try to make your hair purple uh don't follow this tutorial talk to a sally beauty person and just get the purple shade that is all i have for you guys today though so if you enjoyed give it a like leave a comment down below or subscribe for more videos every saturday and now it is time to read a coming out story because i told you guys i would continue doing that i was in sixth grade when i realized i was queer and i told my friends who gladly accepted me and turns out most of them were lgbtq plus as well later in eighth grade i told my mom who said she was happy i figured that out I was always scared to tell my dad because he is low-key homophobic. One week, it was just him, my sister, and I eating dinner, and it accidentally slipped out that I was queer. He got mad and yelled at me for about 10 minutes, which gave me an anxiety attack, but eventually he just ignored the fact that I'm not straight, and we moved on from that topic. If you don't know why I'm still reading coming out stories, it's just because I want you guys to be yourself. Like, that's what I want to promote. If there's one thing you can learn from this video, it's to be yourself. So yeah, that's all I have. And as always, I love you guys, and everything is less than three. Now it's time to get back to my original self. And intentionally put the hair down. Much better.